How's it going everybody? So today, sorry it's a little bit cold out here, it's like 29 degrees, but today we're going to be doing a catch, clean, and cook of a cottontail rabbit. We're going to be teaching you everything you need to know from baiting the traps. We're going to be doing this a trapping video. We're going to be teaching you how to um, clean the rabbit, how to get the guts out, or if you don't want to get the guts to get most of the meat out of it, and how to um, preserve the hide. Actually, next video I'm going to make, I'm going to try to do how to tan a rabbit hide like the old days, as easy, old-fashioned way. Step number one is you're gonna need to um, find a location. Okay guys, so I'm outside right now. I'm a little windy, but it's a bit cold outside. So I'm gonna be showing you where you need to set up the rabbit trap. I already caught about a rabbit once, and I skinned it and, and killed it and butchered it and ate it. It was quite good, so. But here's where I usually set it up, as you can see right here. You can see little tracks all around here. These are all rabbit tracks. These might be other animals, but and they ha and they burrow. This is right over under here. They burrow. This is the best place you should have where you want to put your trap. It's under like a place or some sort of weeds. If you don't have anything like this, a little burrow like this, you could put hay or some sort of grass on top of the cage, and then there will be like a, like a little nest or a hut for the rabbits to go under. But it's more colder days. You have a better chance of catching rabbits. I actually caught it. I caught one of the rabbits uh, a couple weeks ago when it had a pretty big snowfall. So, as you can see, there's a lot of little tracks around here. You can tell by where the rabbit scat is, too. There's one right there. You can see some over here. Yeah, there's some more right over. Don't have to crawl in there, right, right there. You can tell what they look like. There's little, like, balls. Like, little sh ball shape. They're really small, too. So, what I'm gonna put in my trap is I'm gonna try to Put it like right here, right outside. So when if they go inside this, in the, if they come around here, or come around here, I want it to be farther away from like right here. So so if the rabbit is inside here, or if they coming out, I usually see rabbits are in this wood pile right here, and they usually come from there. And so I want to right about here, so they can either come in here, or or if they or if they come this way, they come into the shelter they have here, or they could go inside my trap because there's food there. Or also you could put it inside there, but I'd rather have it out of it, so it's more direction they could come in. So, I'm just going to get the trap now. Sorry if I'm a little bit cold now, but here we go. I got this trap right here. It's a normal metal trap. You could, it's a little stuck to the ground, but you could pick these up anywhere from like 20 bucks maybe. It's a really nice trap. All you do is show you how to set it. I'm going to put down the camera, but all you want to do is you just want to, if you get one of these, just pick up this. We just want to pick up this lock up. Pick up the lock so you can flip this up. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. There we go. Put the lock up and then see that little hook right there? You want to hook it in that little little thing. And when the rabbit steps on that trap, you'll close the door on it. And make sure to check this every single day when you wake up or anytime. Check them because usually rabbits come out around sunset to sunrise that's usually when the time rabbits come out or they're looking for some food the best time is usually winter because some rabbits may have diseases i don't think so but if you cook and wash the rabbit enough it should be fine but I, in my opinion winter is better because you see tracks see where the rabbit scat is and it's a better time to catch rabbits anyway at winter there's not really any diseases in rabbits but any meat um, especially rabbits if you try to if you cook them thoroughly and wash them you should be good no matter what time of the year you eat them anyway so i'm gonna set up this trap and i'll show you what it looks like okay guys i set up my trap right now and um as you can see right here my hands are a bit cold because well it's 29 degrees but it's not that cold anyway because well it's cold metal but anyway we got the carrots right there what i want if you ever get carrots any like baby carrots any sort of carrot just Make sure you cut it up. Make sure, like, break it. Maybe scrape off a little with your fingernails. Scrape off some of the skin of it, so it could have more smell. Cause the rabbits want to smell it, not to see like old carrot, just a, a shriveled old carrot there. You keep this here. You might get a rabbit in an hour, a couple hours, maybe a couple days, maybe a couple weeks even. But usually, it might take me around. It might take you overnight, and you might catch a rabbit. Sorry if I'm a little out of breath, but so all you want to do is you just set this up. Or, as I said, push this lever up and then this then the trap will set up push the thing back and you should be able to see you hook this right on there and after you have that on the rabbit's gonna walk in here step on here you you want to make sure the carrots or nothing is under the trap right there because it has to push down 
and close the trap. It's gonna step on there, try to sniff and get those carrots, and it's gonna come close right behind it. Finally got a rabbit. Actually, what happened is I didn't have enough footage, but we're in the woods back over there, and um, and Alex said that there's a rabbit right there, the cameraman right now. Oh, I'm still shaking from this, but um, I went out there and I was like, oh, there must not be a rabbit. So I went out there, I saw the rabbit move a little bit. Then I was like, hmm, there must be a rabbit there. So I loaded my gun, 12 gauge shotgun, same gun I use in most of my pigeon videos. I walked over to the side and I saw it. It was just like a blob, just sitting right there. It was like, stop. It wasn't looking up. Usually rabbits look up around and like freeze, but they're sitting down like hiding. I could see its eyes and I had to shot right at it. And well, that's how we got this rabbit. So, well, I'm actually gonna wait right now, so. Alright, how are you guys? Got this nice knife for this signature. Not my signature, it's like, it's like a Chinese knife right now, but. So, we're gonna do what you wanna do, guys. It's not gross at all. You're just gonna see meat. You just wanna stand right here. See? You come closer. You wanna um, squeeze around here. And you just wanna cut out, up over the leg. I'm not that good at doing it, but the hardest part is cutting up. There you go. This is very simple after you get up over here. There we go. You just want to cut up. See, it's going to cut up a little bit. There you go. You don't want to cut the tendons. The tendons are what holds the meat on. You don't want that to, to come off. So I'm just going to try to cut around. I don't want to cut the tendons. The tendons are like a little bone to hold the meat straight onto it. There we go. All right. You just want to pull the meat down. See? See, like, this is more darker meat than I see most rabbits. It looks nice and tender. So then, whenever you cut it, you want to follow that cut. Sorry, guys. I'm not, I'm not that good at doing this. I did this, like, five times, but... Now you just want to take wherever you cut. There you go. That's perfect. This is actually better than I usually do it. Okay, there we go. That's some tough meat right there. Grab it and run around a bit. There we go. You can see, see I cut the tendon. This is what happens. See the meat that hooks in the bone right there? When you cut the tendon, that happens. So, it's gonna be a little more work for me, but hey, that's, that's what happens. So I'm just gonna, I, this is usually what you don't do, but sometimes, you have to do it. Like, like cut right here. This is some juicy looking rabbit. I don't even care about the fur anymore. Like this is hard enough to do by itself. It's hard enough as it is. hard to do this with when you're hanging on a tree but if you have it there we go there we go okay you just want to pull the fur down off it it's kind of ripping because well, I don't really care but if you do want to keep the fur I usually don't keep I usually do keep the fur but you can't see it's getting really dark Pull it right off. Good. That, that's a. It's really hard to see. So after we get everything, there we go. A little bit of blood. That's all right, guys. See, there's always a little bit of blood on rabbits, but there's a lot of fat in this rabbit. I usually don't, I usually do keep the fur. This one has a lot of fat, so I'm not really going to keep it. Usually, it comes right off, but you can see it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like meat. This is way harder to do because 
I, I'm looking like an amateur doing this. Cause I haven't did this in a while. There we go. There we go. Now that's how you do it perfectly. But I'm gonna cut off the legs and stuff. See, that's how you do it perfectly. You can see, so we're gonna pull this down a little more. Actually, so you can see the hands, their um, front paws. Yeah, there's a lot of fat in this guy. See all that? I, 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 look at that. <laughs> see that? That's B right there. That's why I don't like to use shotguns. Look, oh, look at all those bees. Look at that, guys. Look at that. See right there? See her right there on the point of the knife. See all those BBs on there? This is why I don't really use BBs because it really screws it up. Pull it down a bit more. There we go. Now, it's a lot grosser because it's harder to get off because this one is. At the winter time, the only thing I don't like about getting rabbits at the winter time is. There we go. Now we're just gonna pull the last bit of meat off. Pull the last piece of meat off. There we go. I usually just keep it like this because I'm not gonna use the fur. As you can see, it, yeah, this, this holds up. It, you don't see it that much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it around, cut the back straps off, take this stuff off. I don't know, we should keep the front legs. There we go. It's a little bloody if I had some on there, it won't look that bad, but as you can see it's not, it looks gross because, I guess, well, I'm gonna put it down here, when I'm gonna wash it, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll cut it up here. It does not look this gross when I do it, but somehow, it's kinda cold, but. See, these are, well, they're like, Fat and blood. So I'm just gonna take it out. Guys, sorry. Cameraman's kind of dumb. I'm all kind of yucky now, but when you clean off, I don't have a hose right now. But there you go. My hands are bloody. As you can see, it's very it's sticked on there a lot. Oh, <laughs> that's not the body. This is the body. Sorry. These are some nice, nice muscular. I usually cut it right off there. They might have some fur still in it. This, this is not how you really cut up a rabbit. This is like my fifth time, but it's sort of a fail. I might do like a rabbit catch, clean, cook, fail, but, well, I'm gonna get the meat off anyway. If you can see right there, look. See all those bees right there? Look at all that. And it got stuck, it didn't even go through. It got stuck into it, and look right up there. So you can see it punctured right there. I'm not gonna cut open this, it's just the stomach. You can touch that. Alright, I'm gonna look at all those BBs in there. Oh my god, this is why I don't use BBs. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around and I'll show you when I... Alright, hey guys, see? You're gonna... Come on this side so you can see. I think it... I, you can feel the ribs in there. It must have hit the ribs and stopped it. So what I'm gonna do is... This is not gross at all. I'm just gonna cut this. No guts gonna come out. It just... As you can see, see there's another BB hit right there. You just wanna cut along the ribs. Along the rib cage. There's gonna be some big ass back straps. Much. I'm just really cold, guys. I'm gonna cut myself. I'm just trying to see. Oh, there we go. That's a nice back strap right there. Leave some extra for animals. Well, you guys know animals like. I didn't, I'm glad I got it anyway, but I'm just saying it's quite dark. I usually don't 
hunt at night. It's not only nighttime, it just turned nighttime actually. So that, oh, damn, that's a big back step right there. Holy god, that's a huge back step. Oh, look at that guys. Look how huge that is. There's no bones. Yeah, that's that that's all back step. There's no bones. Holy crud. Smells like pepper.